So what's stopping you from doing it? I haven't made it. What's stopping you from making it? Me thinking I, I don't know, me thinking I'm by myself. Exactly, let me tell you something. That's it right there. You are not by yourself. You are not by yourself. You are not by yourself. <laughs> Everything that happened to you, Tammy, girl, was supposed to happen. I want you to be proud of yourself, girl. You you was once homeless. You kept going through your divorce. You could be someone with AIDS, dying. You could be a stripper on drugs, strung out. I want you to stop feeling that feeling about yourself. For real, you have really made something of yourself. And that's one of the reasons why I don't give up on you or Natalie. Because I know how easy it could have been for y'all to fall into the hands of some nigga. You know, but y'all be fighting. But y'all got to stop thinking that y'all not good enough. That's it, right there. Y'all not alone. Stop beating yourself up because you feel like I gotta do everything by myself. So that's who that's is you and God. The power to do the things you want to do lies within. That's why I talk to myself. That's why I I, I I say to myself I got nine personalities. That's why I talk to myself in third party because I used to do that too. Used to think make things more harder because I felt like nobody helped me. Who's supposed to help? I'm a grown up. I'm here. God gave me all the power to help myself. All the power that we need to do the things we need is within. And whatever we don't have, he will send it to you in the form of a person or a book or you'll feel it. But you got to stop telling yourself that I'm alone and I'm not good enough. You are. And whatever you don't have, as time progresses, you will get it. You're not alone, girl. People love you. People love you. People love you. And they look at you as... An example of where they could be. Yes, you want to be further. You should. You should. Goddamn right. You should want to be further. Because you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't got your houses, your cars, your jewelry, your bags. You ain't got the lifestyle you want, so you damn right. But you got to know that you got to grow more. And stop being so surface. In order for you to grow, you got to let things go. In order for you to grow, you got to like, that's why I like transparency. Because I don't build and I don't move further if I don't release what was. Like, I really have a bad memory. I don't be remembering shit. For what? I don't want to remember that shit. I don't even know people like, girl, you remember? Nah, for real. I really, but I purposely kept putting myself through processes because I knew that my biggest problem and my biggest enemy was myself. Self-doubt. That's why, look, man, listen. Them niggas I, niggas I dated, girl, I would have never dated them niggas. No, the woman I am right now... I wouldn't even have had Hennessy probably, the way I feel about myself now. But my belief and my confidence in myself was very low. And people would think that y'all got low self-esteem, I got low self-esteem. I think I had very poor self-esteem. Now I love everything. The bumps, the say like, the stretch marks, motherfuckers, love everything. I'm in love with me. I don't need no man to come and tell me I'm pretty. I don't need no man to give me a dollar. All that I need is within me now. All that I need is within me now. Everything that I need is within me. And whatever's not within me means it's time for me to grow. I got to go get what I need, whatever I don't have. And every time I feel an imperfection, I, I feel myself feeling like I'm lacking in the area, that lets me know I got work to do. And I start, I start step up. That's when I get, that's when I give myself my martial orders. Every, listen. Vibrational frequency and energies is very real. And the way to know when your vibrational frequency and energy is off is you have fear, you have doubt, you have insecurities. Those are the top three reasons to know when your vibrational frequency is off. And when you know that it's off, that's when you got to go to work. Praying, not just praying though, I'm sorry. You got to pray and you got to work. Faith without works is dead. We think faith without works means faith without works going to get a job. Works. No, works is you got to speak life. Though a man thinking in his heart, so is he. Though a man speaking out his mouth, so is he. Every day when I be going into my speaking, that ain't just, that's for me because I got to make sure I stay in that. Because if you start being quiet too much, start thinking shit and you start going deep into stuff, making all these stories up that ain't even happen. Next thing you know, you done made up a whole fucking scenario. Now you scared, you sad, you think you got cancer, you think you got AIDS, you think you got to be homeless. You done made this whole story up. All because you got in your head. So we got to get under new management, man. And it's an everyday progress. That is why. When you wake up in the morning, you got to have your rituals. Wake up in the morning. What you thankful for? Start clapping. Number two, you got to get that noise going. 
What is it going to be? Is it going to be your mouth speaking? Is it going to be trap formations? Until you, what is it going to be that you're going to do three things you got to do in the morning? You got to move your body. You got to change your focus. And you got to speak, speak, speak out your mouth every morning. And as you're focusing, the things you should focus on, and what are the top three things that I could be grateful for now? Because when you're grateful, you have more things to be grateful for. So granted, sometimes we want more and then we don't like what we have. So now you want more and then you go home and now you hear and you say, I don't like my house no more. So now you treat your house real fucked up because you done came to this condo. No, no, no. Be grateful for what you have and realize now I see another level. Oh, I want one of them one day. But I'm going to be a good steward over this. Hennessy, clean up your car when you get home. You want a Camaro, two seat and all that. He's not giving you one until you treat that one you got right. Go take your car to the shop. Porsche got somebody you can take your car to. You got to get that car fixed or you're never going to get another one. You got to be a good steward over what you have before it becomes what you had. And now you wish you had what you just had. So all that we need is already on the inside of us, y'all. And y'all got to know I'm y'all friends. I'm not, no, no, not y'all friends. I'm y'all coach, but I love y'all. I don't want nothing from y'all. But to see y'all reach y'all greatest potential. I can't take y'all to y'all greatest, but I can take y'all to making that status. I can help y'all understand how to master yourself. I can help you understand how to get in control of your thoughts and understanding that you got to have self-control. You can't have anxiety and attitudes and... Uh, 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 oh my God, why you open the door? What you doing? Why you taking so long? Ugh, I can't find my watch. I can't find my watch. I can't find my watch. And now you think it's somebody stole it. No, tell me it's still on my watch. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, it's here. It's right there. We're going to find it, motherfucker. Oh shit. Here we go. We still stole the watch. No, she didn't discuss so much. I didn't so well. I, shut up, bitch. Shut up. We all, Tammy was like, oh shit. They're going to think I stole it. She thinking, oh shit. Coach going to think I stole it. Melly thinking, oh shit. Tammy stole it. We thinking, oh fuck. Please watch. The watch is right there. And to prove it to y'all, don't even admit, that's how we be. And then these thoughts start to grow and create more things. And we don't realize how our thoughts went there. We didn't tell nobody who was thinking this. None of us once said what I just said. Tammy said, oh, shit, they think I stole the watch. Coach will think I stole. Please, Natalie, find the watch. Natalie was saying, oh, shit, don't tell me Natalie think Tammy steal. Oh, fuck, don't tell me Tammy steal. Then she was saying, fuck, did she steal it or did I misplace it? Oh, fuck, it's going to come up. I'm thinking, damn, no, nah, Tammy ain't Tammy ain't going to do that because Tammy ain't going to ruin a relationship with me and me. Girl, nobody was The watch came up, boom. But this happens, and if we think like that in every area, how you do anything is how you do everything, man. So imagine those unspoken thoughts. That you never canceled and deleted. You never sent back to sender. And those thoughts are creating your world. Because you never solved the thought. She solved the thought. The watch, boom, the thought died. So these negative thoughts that we had, boom, I ain't checking to see if I got breast cancer. Shit, I ain't solving the thought. Shit, I ain't getting no AIDS test. I don't know. I don't want to know if I got AIDS. I ain't solved. You have not solved the thought. I don't believe I can make a million dollars. I ain't make a million dollars. I must can't. The story doesn't end until you solve the fucking thought, man. So I'm just telling y'all, this year could end very, very well. Or this year could end, and damn, I'm happy we came and saw Coach that last time. Coach looked good. Damn, Coach for the energy. Mercy, Tammy keep calling looking for you. So me, I don't want to talk to her, Mercy. She ain't did shit I told her to do. Oh, man, three years from now. Oh, that used to be my coach, really? He called her. Do, do, do. The number you have reached, 954. Come on while the train has stopped. The train has stopped. Harriet Tubman says, let's go, y'all. Y'all motherfucking slaves. All you motherfuckers on Instagram, slaves. Not all y'all, but I'm just saying. <laughs>